Robert Smalls, born into slavery in Beaufort, South Carolina, he freed himself and many others by commandeering a Confederate transport ship in 1862. In the beginning of the Civil War in the fall of 1861, Smalls was assigned to steer the CSS planner under the command of Brigadier General Roswell Ripley. In April 1862, he began to plan his escape. While docked below General Ripley's headquarters, the ship's three white officers disembarked to spend the night ashore, leaving Smalls and the crew on board. At about 3 a.m., Smalls and the other crewmen made their escape to the Union blockade ships. This required passing Fort Sumter, the most heavily armed of the Confederate forts. When Fort Sumter flashed the challenge signal, Smalls gave the correct hand signs. There was a long pause. The fort didn't immediately respond, and Smalls now expected cannon fire to shred the planter at any moment. Finally, the fort signaled that all was well, and Smalls sailed his ship out of the harbor. Smalls and the CSS planter were nearly fired upon by the Union ships before their white flag was spotted. 